Hi guys and welcome to my new video. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's not actually a sit down um, video, it's not a haul or anything like that. This is following in the same footsteps as my last video with the interior design. Um, and this is going to be like a bedroom makeover. So as you can see in the last video, it was my master bedroom, which I love and is practically complete. This one is the downstairs bedroom, which I'm currently in, um, and it is not complete. When we first moved into the flat, I got the whole flat painted. Um, it was all painted like a stony colour, as you can see behind me, I wanted it like a beigey grey. All the other rooms have a real grey feel to them, um, obviously mixed in with the stone colour. But this room, I went proper the opposite, so I made sure it was like beige and... Um, it went a bit pink and I think I got a bit obsessed with the female girly aspect to it and now I am regretting it massively. I was in here the other day and I just thought I really hate this room and whilst I'm not in isolation why don't I change it up. It doesn't have the same feel as every other room in the house so it has had obviously like I said it has been painted, it has been wallpapered so the bedroom upstairs and downstairs were paint wallpapered at the same time. We have had issues with the wallpaper, it's not perfect but it's as good as it will be for now and I'm sure in about two years time, one or two years, I'll want to change it again. But it has sort of been done. So obviously there's um, the curtains that are in are staying in. The walls are staying the same colour and the wallpaper. The, there's a mirror. Oh, well, well, I'll go through everything that's staying and I'll just show you it, shall I? So this is the, this is the mess of the, bedroom, of the house. Um, this is the spare bedroom. And as you can see, it has the, it's terrible lighting in here, I apologise. It has like a stone coloured wall. Um, and then we have a textured wallpaper that you can see. You can't really tell there's a bit of a sparkle to it not much i didn't want it over the top um and it's just become the dumping ground so we've had radiators that we bought that weren't the right ones so we've had to package them up and because of lockdown they've not gone um so they've stayed in here we've also got um a rug i got ages ago that was meant to be in the lounge but wasn't the right color there's some extra carpet under there because it has been new carpeted same as upstairs same around the whole flat um, there's another rug somewhere, we've got lamps that my mum lent me when we first moved in, a glass table that was moved from the lounge and crap I apologise about the, the rubbish in here. Um, but yeah, this is the bedroom. So as you can see, it, I don't know whether it's showing on the camera, but it's a really pink effect. So we've got a pink blanket, a pink throw, we've got pink cushions, well not really pink, they're going to probably stay because they're around the right sort of toes, but I might change them. And it just makes the wallpaper look more pink and the curtains look pinker. It is just a dumping ground. Um, like I had rose gold in here, as you can see that cushion. I've got the ballet picture on the wall, which I do still love. I got that years ago at a car boot, but it is more, the shoes are gold, not actually pink, um, but it just works. And then you've got like a, a champagne minky bad, like, what's head, headboard, that's what I'm looking for. Um, so I think I just went down the pink route, obviously got pink towels and everything. And now I'm regretting that massively. And because I've I've done that, I then tried to bring in greys to match the carpet. So I went for the cushions that were actually on the couch to start with. Um, it's basically just become the room where everything has come to die. So I redid the lounge cushions. They came in here. I redid the lamps upstairs. They've come in here. It just needs a bit of an overhaul. So plan of action is to turn this room more grey. So I'm going for a dark grey and champagne colour scheme to try and match the walls and the curtains. I don't know if the curtains are going to have to change long time, uh, long time, um, in the long run because they might not match. But I'm going to have to wait and see. I've got new lampshades. This lampshade is new, so it's staying. I just like the effect it has on the walls. Um, that will be staying, the ballet picture, but will be going on this wall. They will be going because they are tacky and old fashioned, and they're going. And then my mirror is staying. So a lot is staying. A lot is going. Um, the bedside tables are going to stay. I might spray paint them grey, um, not during this video, but that might be a long. But I actually don't know whether to keep them white because the bedding's white um, and to tie it all in. Basically, it just needs doing. So we're going to put something on that wall. Oh, can you get my finger? Something on that wall. Something to replace that. That's going over here. They're probably staying for now. We're getting rid of all the clutter. We're changing the cushions and the soft furnishings. Getting rid of the clutter on this side. Changing the lampshades, bish bash bosh, Bob's your uncle. So I'm going to time lapse it probably. You will see my boyfriend in the time lapse, he's gonna help me. We're gonna clear it out, get it ready, and see if we can just bring this room back to life for under 100 pounds. Let's see.
that took a lot longer than I thought I would. Uh, no, I would. It would. Um, I'll show you the outside. Look how dark it is. Yeah, great. Um, so yeah, done. So that time lapse was like 35 seconds. Um, and it was probably about an hour and a half worth of us running about. And I apologise if you saw my boyfriend staring into the camera at any point. He was a bit, a bit awkward and then thought he was being funny. Um, hopefully the time lapse got rid of that. So it is all done. And I will take you around the room and show you. Ta-da! That is the bedroom complete. So as you can see, it's actually light outside. Um, I did film this on the same night, but then realised the sound quality was absolutely atrocious. Um, so I do apologise for the before sound. Obviously, I can't refilm that, so I've done my best with it, but there's nothing I can really do. Uh, so yeah, this is a new bedroom, showing you all the walls and everything. So I'm going to run through what I got from where, what was already in the house, and all that sort of stuff. So as you know, I wanted to do this room for under £100, and I did, but bear in mind I did have quite a lot of the stuff. So I already had the map that was actually in the lounge, but I've moved out of there. That was from the range for £35, and I absolutely love it, and I love the reflection on the on the canvas, it's really pretty. Um, and then obviously I had the head and the headboard, the white bedding I already had, and then I bought these lampshades so they were five pounds from wilco's and the thing i love about them is when they're turned on you can see that they match the curtains but when they're turned off they're dark gray it's just the small things in life really isn't it um so they were really good for five pounds i then bought these three cushions from the range and i think they're about seven pounds each so i wanted two textured charcoals so you can see the texture on them and then i wanted one champagne to go in the middle it just needs a bit of an iron but we'll get over that bit and then i bought um the charcoal waffle blanket so it is quite long as you can see that's from the range as well for about 17 or 18 pounds and then i got this champagne blanket um on sale i think this was like 6.99 so that was brilliant i also already had the tray but i have only recently bought that from home bargains for six pounds and then i bought a little tissue box for 70p which just matches the colors and this really cute little vase with fake flowers for five pounds from wilco's as well so that's what I bought for the room. And I also already had the curtains, as you already know. Um, I think I said that in my, my last clip. If I didn't, sorry. <laughs> but I already had these. They were from the range as well, quite a while ago. They were really cheap, um, but I just really like them in here. And then, oh, if the light wants to come back. I got this gold frame from Primark a while ago. And I've just put a little fake plant from HomeSense. A little diffuser and a little gold clock to match. Already had, had, already had the mirror and already had my ballerina. So that is the room. Oh, and also already had the bedside tables. They're just very plain. Please ignore the wallpaper on this side and the sewing machine on that side. I will find a place for them. But yeah, this is the final room. I absolutely love it. It's taken away the pink tone that I really, really didn't like in here and has just revamped it. And it's now the room that I want to come in rather than want to avoid. Um, I am thinking of changing the pillows at the back because they're a bit too mushroomy, but for now they will do. So that is the video complete, nice and short. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. Like I say in every video, I hope it entertained you and that it kept you occupied for a little bit. I know I look a little bit worse for wear, but I have been running around for about two and a half hours doing this and I've had a really busy day. Uh, it doesn't really bother bother me. I've probably got patches of makeup everywhere and I'm one shiny, but I'm so happy with the bedroom. I'm glad it's done. It's been bugging me for months, well, pretty much since we moved in, which was over a year ago. Um, and I'm just so happy that it's now a guest room that I am proud of. And my best friend, Michaela, who stays here, she calls it her bedroom. So I'm pretty sure she'll be happy once I send her the picture to show her the updated um, room. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please give it a like and a subscribe. I know it's a little bit different to normal, but I want to mix things up. So yeah, hope you're having a lovely week and stay safe.